and we're back with some more room world. And our little team here is doing quite well. We finished off this little area here so that the baby has somewhere to, well, stay when they grow up. Uh, once they hit three, which is going to be actually rather shortly, they're going to need a bedroom. They're also going to need a school classroom. Uh, we are still a mile away from getting our hands on microelectronics, but it's fine for now. That'll be just one thing we miss out on. Hopefully it won't uh, hurt their education too much. Uh, Prashet is still helping out with all of the construction as well, namely because we just need to get this done so quickly. All right, let me just finish off this school real quick. Huh, quest available. Sonia's sunblocker. Interesting. Her enemies have been harassing her settlement. She wants to help using signals to draw them towards tentacles and technologies and away from her people. If she does, her enemies will activate a site nearby to harass you. There's a sunblocker machine. They're shadowing the whole region, and four manhunting raccoons are wandering nearby. Oh, and the thing is, I'd almost want the sunblocker and then just keep it permanently. That would be an interesting way to play this. You see, the thing about sunblockers is that there's a whole religion. Where is it? Yes, darkness. Impact high. Uh, they prefer dark light. Combat and darkness preferred. And Eclipse is beautiful. Combat and darkness is basically shooting accuracy outdoors is plus 25%. Uh, shooting accuracy outdoors in the dark is plus 25%. Minus 20% when it's lit. But who cares about it being light outside if there's a sunblocker all the time? So normally what happens, I think if you have the darkness religion, you can't get a sunblocker event. So the usual thing is to get a sunblocker event and then get darkness. However, that would leave us without any sunlight on a really cold tile. And yeah, that would make it... Mm. No, I don't think we can take it. Well, I would like to do that at some point, just make a darkness meme colony. I, I think that one's going to have to be a no from us. Oh, in the last episode, uh, Smirk's son showed up and, well, I kicked him out. Was it Smirk's son or was it Pseudonym's son? No, Pseudonym's son showed up and I kicked him out. And people were saying, but they were one of us. They were family. No, no, no. There were some randomer that got thrust upon us and they were like, oh, yeah, these people are family. They totally existed all the time. They didn't magically appear out of nowhere. Like, when you're in, you're in, but that person wasn't in. They just showed up. You try and be a little bit picky, you know? It took me a minute to remember how this school stuff worked, but you basically need to build yourself a school desk. And once that's completed, we'll see it's got a learning rate bonus of 100%. Then you can link up to three blackboards to it. Does it matter what way the blackboards are orientated? Who cares? Not a, not a problem. And I made them out of slate. Now, I would like to say it was thematic because slate blackboards, I think, are traditional, but it was uh, more just a case of slate is cheap, plentiful, and I didn't want to waste the limestone. The limestone I'm going to use for the outside walls. We're then going to use marble for the inside walls, because marble gives a little bit of a beauty bonus. Not a lot, but that one bonus, that one point per marble wall tile, we might as well take advantage of it, considering we've got marble on this area. One thing we're going to want to do with this classroom is give it a light. I'm not sure if it helps, but I'm going to stick one in. And what's the learning speed without a light? Doesn't seem to affect it, but uh, we might as well make sure it's lit for the kid. Ooh. And that kid's going to need clothing, I just realized. That's probably a good idea. The big day for the kid turns three is coming up rather rapidly. Pichette is going to produce a parka and a tribal wear for the kid. That should keep them from freezing to death. Uh, at the same time, we're running out of steel. Again, that's going to be a consistent theme. So I think it's time we started mining this ore vein over here. It's a little bit further away, but we don't really have a choice. I'm going to assign Smirk to that. While they're slower at it, uh, Pichette is just faster at construction. And once she gets this bedroom done, that means the kid has somewhere to stay. And once she's finished these clothes, that means the kid has something to wear. And we need those, well, quickly. Uh, at the same time, I've been checking out this new anomaly stuff, and there's a biopharite harvester. So this thing basically allows you to generate biopharite from stuff you're containing. So, for example, if we click on King over here, and we go to the info, scroll all the way to the bottom, they generate one biopharite a day, assuming we stick them near one of these biopharite harvester things. Whereas this guy over here must be far more dangerous because he generates four. Uh, makes me very uncomfortable. So we're probably going to hook it up to that guy and then hope he doesn't escape. It's supposed to make them angrier, so we'll probably have to improve the strength of our containment room. Or I'm just going to have to start upgrading our containment rooms a bunch. Might put the containment rooms down here at the end. That might be a better idea, actually. No, you know what? We're going to keep them separate and far apart. I'm thinking about this like prison breaks. If it's like prison breaks, the moment one breaks, everyone nearby breaks out. So you want to keep them far enough apart so that if one breaks, out, not all of them. So you're not dealing with a mass prison break all at the same time. Another tip I took from the comments, though, was turning this place into a, well, a freezer. Well, so much a freezer is just a place we're dumping bodies for now that are 
technically refrigerated because of the coldness outside. Uh, this way we get to keep them around and chop them up as we need to feed our ghoul, but at the same time they're not actually taking up space in our fridge. I was going to dump them to the tree. The thing is, you can't leave these bodies outside anymore. If you do, one of those anomaly things will come along that'll turn reanimate all the corpses and they'll try and kill you. So let's not do that. Uh, oh, and we can get rid of this quest and the ancient mech. I've been thinking, and maybe, just maybe, it might be an idea for Pseudonym to become our mechanator. Like, I know their crafting is terrible right now, but we can train up their crafting. I was just looking, there was comments on some, like, when you do a new series, people start commenting on some of the older ones, and I thought, why not train up their skills using tail caps? Um, that's how we did it back in the day, and making it out of tail caps, we can get rid of one of our most plentiful materials, which is human leather. So if we give that to Pseudonym here, and we get them to just make a bunch of those, that should up their skills quite substantially. I mean, they've got a learning bonus going on for them, as in they've got the two smart traits. If someone comes along with crafting in the meantime, we can switch them over. But uh, this does give us a chance to destroy some of our wealth as well, because this is going to get rid of all the human leather we've got lying around the place. Also, I should probably chop up a few more of those to get us even more human leather before the weather turns and those things start to rot. Hey, we check that. Spring has begun. I mean, yay, I suppose. And this is going to be the kids' bedroom over here once they come of age. Excellent. Uh, if we could get a statue for them, that would probably help. And I should really put individual bedrooms for Smirk and Perset when the time comes. But that, they would need statues in there to actually be any good. Hey, it's a different social fight dynamic than normal. It's Smirk and Pseudonym. I mean, they're both psychopaths, so... You kind of expect this after a while. Now, let's see... Yeah, you still have your scars. Pseudonym here always had those scars, and you are both fine. Quest available, Sangafish Hulk. Ooh. Damn it. I kind of do, like, I kind of want to have a Mechanator, a Sangafish, then uh, Prashet would be, I suppose, their Anomaly person. Just having one of all the different DLC content stuff sort of just crammed in would be beautiful. So could we get someone and turn them into a Sanguifage and make it work at this early stage? I don't think we can do it this early. Wait, 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 wait. What am I thinking? Prashet would make a wonderful vampire. I mean, Sanguifage, whatever. Uh, this will boost her intellectual, it will reduce her sleep requirements. And anyway, the kid's almost grown up. Uh, I'm not sure if vampires can breastfeed anymore. But that doesn't matter because the kid is now... Two years, 58 days, or whatever you want to call it. Like, I know it ages faster than normal. So that kid is going to be turning in the next day or so. They're going to become an adult. We've got them, their clothes ready to go. So I say we get Prashet and turn her into a Sangophage. Yes, I am liking that idea. Uh, we already have a room here to hold them. Sort of? Uh, actually, let me check the quest. How long do we have to accept this? Expires in two days. Yeah, we'll finish off this room. That'll give us one for the kid and one for the Sangophage. In fact, we will reinstall this bed in here. Then we'll just stick another bed in there. We'll have the kid stay in this room for now, and then we'll use this to hold the Sangophage until we can extract the blood from it. Hey, the kid just popped. Excellent. Growth moment for the baby. Yeah, they're now able to do all this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Uh, philosopher role activated. Finally. The number of uh, ideologists in your colony has reached three. You can now assign the role of philosopher to one of your colonists. Yeah, to assign a role. Social tab. Got it. Uh, baby has become a child. Do you want to remain colonist and slave? Propon remain colonist. Dear God. I love the way the game thinks that you might take those options. Like, you know this kid you've raised since they were a baby? Would you like to turn them into a slave? And it's like, no, 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 I wouldn't. Hey, kid, you want to put on some clothes? I know you're new at this and all that, but, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not doing fine meals, kid. You're, you're straight onto the pace with the rest of us. Uh, and now you're going to rest. No, you are going to wear that, and then you're going to wear that. What are we looking like? Minimum comfortable temperature, minus 23. That works out perfectly. All right, um, can the kids sleep in there for the night? It's a dull bedroom, but they can have it. Right, they can sleep in there for the night. Tomorrow we'll sort them out. Oh, and one thing you need to do, just to make sure the kid doesn't end up being, uh, well, handicapped by their early learning, would be immediately go into your options, uh, go into gameplay, storyteller settings, and I've got it certainly set to 600% aging. Crank that down to 400% or even just put it down to minimum. 
the reason being this kid's growth tiers are already going up right now and their learning is at 49% which is bad so you want to cap out their learning as quickly as possible so until they get their learning capped out I keep them on the slowest aging and then once their learning gets it capped out I can, you can speed up the aging to whatever you want I'm probably going to fast age this kid because well otherwise I feel like it takes too long our kid has gone nature running I don't I don't like that they're off in the middle of nowhere True, there's no animals right now, but there could be a raid at any second, and their speed is only 3.45. I'm going to install a quick mod. Oh, I installed this mod called Guard for me, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with melee units. What you're supposed to be able to do is grab someone like this and say, hey, I would like you to protect the baby. And then they will automatically go and protect that character at all times. However, it doesn't work with melee units, it seems. That's unfortunate. This is a recommendation, recommendation from the comments, but... They didn't know if it was going to work either, but they said it was a possibility. I was hoping that I could just have dumb shit guard this kid all the time unless he was eating. So eat, then go over, mind the kid, and then the kid would have a bodyguard for its entire life. I thought that would be kind of, well, fun, thematically appropriate, and maybe give the kids some issues when they grow up that we could, you know, we could play off. But uh, no, it turns out that does not work. I'll keep an eye out. Maybe there's some mod that does it. If anyone knows any mod that would get dumb shit to follow around the kid all the time and be their bodyguard, that would be awesome. Or even just follow them around. That way, if anything goes down, anything that pops up near the kid, dumb shit could be in there to just, you know, smack them. It's early morning. Everyone's rested. Not everyone's recreated, though. Uh, they're a little bit injured from, well, their last batch of fisticuffs. In fact, I never find out why they fought. Ah, pseudonym here, belittle Smirk's father's construction skill. This drove Smirk into a rage, and he began a fight. Okay, uh, Smirk's father's construction skill? Well, Smirk's construction's not amazing. I mean, considering they're an employable professional, I mean, that's... You know what? I, I don't care. You guys are crazy. Uh, we'll accept the quest anyway, and we're going to bring down that sangofish. Especially while the baby's in bed. Uh, where did it crash? Okay, all the way over here. Perfect. We'll sort that out in a minute. But uh, down here was where the kid was hanging out, and I didn't like it. They were literally over at the edge of the map, waiting to get snatched. You just know it. So what I did is I made an area for the kid right here. Uh, that way the kid can do the nature running they want while it keeps them hopefully far enough away from the edge of the map that they can run away. Until I can find some way of getting the ghoul to follow them around all the time. Hey, yeah, uh, Sangafish, where were you? Ah, uh, yes, you're down here. Okay, we've got... Oh my god, they look nasty. Right. That looks like an assault shotgun. Uh, that looks like a heavy SMG. That looks like a heavy SMG. And that is a vampire. This might be more than we can chew. Now, what are you? You are a hardworking recluse. Don't care. Optimist, psychically deaf. Don't care. Jealous teetotaler. Yet yeah, nothing. Bloodlust. A oh, delicate. <sighs> really don't like delicate. And a jogger. Capable of dumb labor, social, and mining. I mean, no. I mean, I, we do want someone with animals, but we've already got medical. We've already got plants. Um... Yeah, this is going to be pretty hard to find some people that we want to hire. We have a shock lance. That means we can at least take out the vamp real quick if we need to. Uh, the other two might, other three might be a problem. Say, take out the assault shotgun person. Hmm. No, 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 no. Dump shit up front to tank. He can face tank the vampire. It'll hurt, but he can last long enough for us to, say, psychically shock at least one of these. Probably. Then get the other one and take them out w uh, with just regular gunfire. There'll only be one of them. And the shotgun won't be able to get in range before we slaughter them, hopefully. Now, let's find ourselves some nearby cover and get into position. So, very simple plan. These three up front. Sudom's here is actually just in range of someone, are they? Of Tony. Go for it. Oh, I didn't think we were quite in range yet. But we'll attract Tony's attention. And then... Hopefully, they'll be attracted to shooting dumb shit. Attacking Smirk. Okay, that's not great. That's one down. What are you equipped with that you can shoot that far? Heavy SMG. Huh. Just in range of dumb shit. That's fine. Dumb shit can take it. Okay, we'll ignore this guy for the moment because he's targeting dumb shit. In that case, we can have all three of these target this one. Uh, that guy's getting his shotgun out, and who's he targeting? He's targeting dumb shit. Perfect, if you're both targeting dumb shit, that's fine by me. How are they not going down? Did they have... Uh, flak pants? No, hyperweave? Like, I've got all three of them targeting you. 
Okay. Blood bag. Excellent. Um... Mm. Uh, dumb shit is acting as a wonderful sponge. I don't want to get any cl Oh, that guy's attacking Smirk. In that case, attack them. You're attacking dumb shit. Oh, Smirk, have you taken any damage yet? No. Do we want to zap them? The thing is, we need to down them and keep them alive. Oh, they have a bionic spine. Do you have any stuff? Well, we definitely want to strip this one. Hyperweave parka, hyperweave button-down shirt, flak pants. And they do have bloodlust. Does that mean we have to hire them? Uh, or we can keep them around as a blood bag, right? I mean, worst case scenario, we can recruit them later. Hey, we still need to take down this guy. Come on, come on, come on. And shoot that one. That guy wants to run away, fleeing in panic. I'm almost inclined to let him go. Optimist and psychically deaf. Hmm. You know what? Dumb shit. Run him down. We do want to capture this one, and we do want to capture that one. So, oof, I need more prison storage? I forgot that I might be capturing more than one. Ooh, and would you look at that? We have another blood bag. Oh, and a few things. These people are unwaveringly loyal, so recruitment is not an option. Uh, blood donations are. Uh, what are you at? You will bleed out in nine hours. That is... well, looks like we're gonna need more room in here. I wonder if the nearby place will buy slaves, and what is our... well, we'll buy prisoners off us. And if so, what's the price they'd give us for these guys? And we can dismantle that crash shuttle as well. This worked out pretty good. Uh, dumb shit just tanked the lot of that. And I don't think... Yep. No one else got a single scratch on them. That worked out perfectly. We'll have to pick up those blood bags and the food. But yeah. I'm going to call that a success. And we got our hands on a chain shotgun. A heavy SMG normal. And another heavy SMG normal. And I am a big fan of heavy SMGs. Alright, let's get everyone squared away. And uh, we, we, we've got a... We've got to turn Prechette into a vampire very soon. So while Pseudonym and Smirk take care of the uh, prisoners, they're tending to their wounds right now. Uh, Prechette is over here teaching the kids some sort of lesson? Learning lessons in melee. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Our melee skills are pretty weak, so, so they won't be great training. But uh, yeah, soon your, your mom's going to become a vampire. Uh, this won't change your relationship. It just means she'll probably not like the sunlight nearly as much anymore. Alright, uh, maybe we should... Ooh, two conditions need telling. You know what? That's enough of that. Yeah, tend that one now. And then I should probably strip them off because we want their gear. Hmm. I mean, they're not going to be rebelling any... Ooh, flak vest. Yes. Yes, I would like your flak vest. Hmm. I just need a bit of stockpile in here and give them some leftover clothing so that they won't freeze to death. So what's the temperature? It's 7C. They won't freeze to death. And, if we check on the world map... Movement difficulty is down. This place has it restocked. Nope, 3.6 days. I think it might be an idea to head over there. I don't think they buy... Yeah, they don't buy... Prisoners. Oh, wait. Humans. Huh. Okay, they will buy humans. Might be an idea to sell one of them. I don't really want to keep two prisoners. It's just the uh, cost in food. Even if we're feeding them paste. Actually, what's your religion like? And how much of a problem would it be to keep you happy? Well, they're cannibals. That that could make their feeding a little bit simpler. Um, blood feeders revered. Hmm. If there is a blood feeder kind of animal, not mind being fed upon. Well, that does make it a little bit simpler for us to get blood out of you. I think we keep Hayaku. Hayaku, you catch it. Whatever. Uh, bloodlust, delicate, and jogger. Now, we might end up recruiting them. I just, I don't like delicate. That 15% extra damage just uh, results in a lot more deaths. Also, they don't have any skills we're really crying out for. But they do have bloodlust. And at the same time, they're okay with getting fed on by, well, soon-to-be Pichette. So, yay? A uh, deer here can definitely go and Storch. Hmm. Actually, we could make two vampires. No, 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 I don't want two vampires. I think I'm going to sell them as well. Uh, any good gear on you? Sheeple Parka. Yeah, yeah, we can we can take their gear too. What the hell is a 
Dark Scholar. Do one second. Assault began. Crashed shuttle. Quest available. Staff and the engine mech. A Dark Scholar covered with twisted scars is approaching the colonist. She wants to talk. She can send a colonist to hear. You can send a colonist to hear what she has to say. Hmm. Psychopath. Ooh. Tough occultist. Crypt of Victory. Who are these guys? Took the most superior humans to create the architect. So that's what. So that the architect could become superior to all. As the consciousness of the architect expands, it must grow its substrate by drinking the essence of other machines. Someday the architects will depart. They will bring a select few humans with them and leave the rest behind to suffer. Okay. Slavery honorable, blood feeders revered. Huh. Interesting. The Crypt of Victory. Ah, oh, damn it, unwaveringly loyal. I was looking at these guys and I'm thinking, wow, they're a psychopath and they're tough and they're an occultist. Like, I was thinking recruitment time, hells yeah. But then I realized, yeah, that they're unwaveringly loyal. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. I presume, though, if we got our technology up, the anomaly stuff, we could do a brain wipe. But that is that is really far down the check, check tree. And that brain wipe would probably allow us to recruit an unwaveringly loyal prisoner. There was also other workarounds where you could turn them into a slave first or something along those lines. There was, there was other ways to break unwaveringly loyal people, but it was a bit of a workaround. And I don't want to do that. All right, let's send someone over to talk to them then. As far as I can tell, the Crypt of Victory is only done by one, was the only religion of these guys, the Savage Impid tribe. So they don't seem very friendly. Or we could wait until they come to us. Okay, fine. I thought they were going to stay on the edge of the map and not come closer. I, I don't know why I thought that. I just assumed the way it said, you can send a colonist to hear what she has to say. Okay, so they're safe enough to talk to. Uh, disease infection. Yeah, that's going to be this person. That's fine. We're going to be uh, sending them out in the morning. Smirk. Maybe prioritize tending to that. You prefer if that infection progress any fat. You know what? Can we clean this room? Oh, that's the problem. Oops, I have never expanded this zone. Probably should have. I was wondering why this place was so disgustingly filthy. Let's talk to this dark scholar. Uh, the dark scholar slouches in place, lifeless and silent. Only her eyes seem alive, as if she could look inside you. She says that this is where she belongs, and asks to stay for a while. Her tone indicates that she will not take no for an answer. She is deep, deeply knowledgeable of all things related to the void. She can study unnatural phenomena faster than, than others, and will also teach others when she gets the chance. She may be very useful, but you also sense there is something Holloway is not telling you. Oh... Hmm, I mean, we can't say no, can we? Oh, yeah, send Smirk to capture Holloway. There's no point capturing them, we can't keep them. I'm going to postpone this for one second. I just want to have, like, more of a look at them. Why do you have a surgical scare? A cut made during surgery, surgical scare in your head. Needs. Wearing favorite color. Childhood unknown. Well, that's... Hmm. Acquaintance Nico Scorch? Wait, they're friends with the vampire? Kinda suspicious. Um Hmm. Well, they've definitely brought their own food. That's great. Hmm. I don't trust them. Mm. Okay, fine. We'll hire them because, well, we have to hire them. There's no other way. Allow Holloway to join. Now, are they a full-on colonist? Yes. Now, what if we were to imprison them and then recruit them? Would that change anything? Hmm. What are you doing? Wearing cloth pants. Uh, yeah, you're probably going to want to gear up. I don't think you have enough cold resist for this tile. Yeah, minus seven. You're, you're, you're going to freeze to death if you stay here. Hey. Anyway. What are you doing? Wearing cloth pants. I'm going to keep an eye on them for now. Mr. Pink Deer, I need to give you a bed as well. Damn it. I'm, I made all of those bedrooms to house new people, but instead I've just ended up putting more people into our barracks. Uh, it's fine. It is what it is. Well, before we could get a bed down for Holloway, we haven't named them yet because, uh, hmm, let's just uh, put a placeholder name. Uh, don't trust you. Yeah, let's just leave them like that for now. Uh, Prashetir is going to absorb the Xenogerm of Scotch. Huh. 
Scorch must be damned before you can force him to implant the gene. Okay, that's fine. Operations, we will go with uh, anesthetize. Ooh, actually, there's a surgical inspection. I'm going to do a surgical inspection on the new guy in case there's, you know, something horrifying hiding inside him like a parasite or some junk. Uh, you, allow medicine. We will allow industrial tech because I've run out of herbal. Yep, run out of herbal medicine. Oopsie. And we'll have pseudonym can take care of that in a minute. Wait, monolith study complete? Should I just complete your study of the monolith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Its influence creates horrors in our world. The void is inhabited by a vast machine intelligence. Oh! Of terrifying complexity that surges with night nightmarish inhuman rage. Its influence creates horrors in our world. Awakening the monolith would fully open the conduit. With the channel open, Prichette believes she could reach through the link to permanently close the circuit or find a way to harness its dark power. The monolith now provides more knowledge when studied. Well, that is, uh... Good, I think? Hmm. Okay, you... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need you to knock out that vamp. Oh, and we finished disruptor flares. Excellent. Okay, now some people were pointing out that uh, this thing over here gives advanced research, which we're wasting because we're not actually selecting up here. I've checked, and while people are looking at this thing, our research in the normal section goes up. So I kind of want to knock these ones out first. Basically, ghoul infusion. I would like to be able to make another ghoul. Preferably someone with the tough trait would make a wonderful ghoul. Tough and fast moving would be even better ghoul. Uh, yeah, so more ghouls is where I'm heading for because dumb shit has just been an absolute... Like, they have saved our bacon so many times. All right, Prashet, it's time for you to get your absorption of the xenogerm thingy on. Ah, uh, smirk, where are you? You are meditating an art sculpture. That is fine. I'm pretty sure this knocks her out. Yep. So I want you to rescue Prashet immediately. And uh, what are you doing over here? Keeping an eye on this guy. I just do not trust him in the slightest. And they're putting on some clothing. Fine. Yeah, go for it. All right, then. Smirk, are you just about ready to go? I want to get Smirk to do a little bit of a caravan. Actually, how long is Prashet going to be out for? Prashet's going to be out for two days. Oh, that's a problem. When does this place refresh? 2.9 days. You know what? I think we're going to spend Smirk off on a caravan trip. But before we do... Ooh, actually, I want to see how much Revenant stuff they can study. We get about 0.8. They should get a bonus. They get 1.62! Ooh, I would really like to keep them if at all possible. All right, all right. Um, hmm. How are we going to work this? And who left the gun in there? Don't leave the gun with the prisoners. Seriously, why do I have to specify this? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Now we're just going to send Smirk off on a caravan trip to get rid of some of our excess wealth. We're going to do a quick inspection on Don't Trust Me to make sure that there's nothing wrong with them. Eh, what's our medical skill? Nine, yeah, we should be fine. So we'll just do a quick medical inspection because they've got surgical scars, and I don't like that. Okay, results. Performed extensive surgical inspections. He says he found no anomalies. However, a doctor may lie if it is in their own self-interest. Well, considering they've been with us for since, uh, well, a long time, I think we'll be fine. Uh, doctor, care, but no medicine. Thank you very much. No need to go crazy on this one. Minor cut to the torso to do the surgical inspection. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Uh, and at the same time, our caravan is getting ready to leave. Wow, you are slow. Well, I suppose you are injured. And you are suffering from a little bit of hypothermia. And... Haiku just had a little bit of a crisis of belief. Hmm. That's good for you, I suppose. I think she just changed religion, did she? Never mind. Same one. I'm losing my mind. Our caravan has left the map. That leaves us with Don't Trust Me, who I still don't trust, but they're sedated for a day. Pichette will be up in 1.5 days. So I think I'll maybe do another little... Actually, they're going to be woozy for another day. Yeah, woozy for a day means they're less dangerous to us. Uh, we only have pseudonym here left behind, and, well, we've got dumb shit as well. So dumb shit and pseudonym should be able to take care of anything until Pichette is back on her feet. Okay, and we kept... Hayaku. Namely because... Hi, hi, Jack. Hi, had you? Whatever. We kept this one because... Well, we need a blood bag. We do have some blood bags out on the map. Yeah, there we go. We want to bring those uh, hemogen packs back in immediately. Well, our next joy is a defoliator ship. 
Huh. What have we got? Legionnaire. Legionary. Oh, wait. Do these things have those annoying laser cannons? Nope, nope. Need a launcher. That's ah, the Tesla runs I really hate. Scorchers. Scor uh, scorchers are annoying. Legionnaire. Legionnaire. Huh. Sending most of our wealth off the map was a good thing. And the fact that this is, you know, a, a desert or an uh, icy desert or a cold desert means that uh, we don't really care about this for a while. We can wait until the uh, everyone comes back. Yeah, we're good for now. Uh, kid is doing their thing. Their learning is now at 89%, so they're going to have to start... Once their learning dips below 90%, they go back out and start doing whatever their uh, learning lessons are. So in this one case, it's they're either going to do lesson taking or nature running. Lesson taking might be a little bit difficult because we've only got two people up and running. This guy, I really hope we can keep them. I'm suspicious, but I'll give them like 10 days, and if they haven't done anything evil, we'll give them a Patreon name. And then if they betray me, well, I'll feel less bad about it, I suppose. Eh, uh, and you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're feeding Ambrosia to Pichette? Why? No! I'm, I'm tick- that's- I, I didn't realize you guys were still- t Why would you do that? Uh, first things first, you can prioritize filling the hopper. Yeah, no. Is that it? That's a problem. There's only X amount of boomalope meat left. So that's why it's messing up. Okay, that's fine. We can get this working. Trading wise, we're just we've just arrived at the time town, and they will buy Scorch off us. I mean, they're unwaveringly loyal, so there's no well, actually they're not unwaveringly loyal, but being a hardworking recluse is fun and all that. But as a vampire and not having the bloodlust gene and all that, they're uh, gone. Dear. Uh, they're unwaveringly loyal, so there's nothing we can do about it anyway. So both of those, gone, instantly. Actually, wait, 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 before they sell those, you have to strip them. Strip them first, then sell them. Otherwise, you don't get the money for their clothing. Now, we were going to buy some stuff here. I was looking for the Trade Helper mod to make this easier, but instead, that turns out that's not updated. So this is the Dynamic Trader. Uh, it's not quite as clear-cut, but this here on the left is everything that we can potentially sell. And uh, I'm keeping Deer Farmer... Whatever, I'm keeping the deer farmer female on the grounds that, well, I can't carry all the stuff back. Otherwise, it turns out there's just too much stuff. Uh, for example, see these thrombo horns? If we sell them the thrombo horns, it actually increases our weight. We're at 45 kgs, but selling them brings us up to 46 because the silver we're turning the thrombo horns into is worth more than the weight of the thrombo horns. Yeah, same with these hats, actually. This human tail cap is actually worth about its same weight in silver. Hmm. Who knew? All right, so I made sure I left some clothes on deer so they wouldn't freeze to death. And then I sold all this junk and we bought one telescope. This will give us a recreation bonus inside our... Ooh, your negotiator bonus minus 13. Trading with this faction bonus minus 2. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this telescope will help us get our recreation up, so we're going to take that along. Uh, at the same time, we bought ourselves a flak vest for protection. One EMP grenades for options. That's going to help us with mechs, while at the same time, it's also going to help us with those invisible guys, I think. Uh, survival advanced book, which is actually, as far as I can tell, this will give us research into advanced lights and noble power. If we read this, it will research those topics for us, as opposed to just doing research. So, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Uh, then we bought eight medicine on top of that, and that's it. Yeah, done. So, let's take that stuff and head home. We shall accept... I might actually change their liking of us. Uh, deer here is... It got over their infection. I was worried they were going to die of their infection, but they actually developed an immunity, so we don't have to worry. Plus, they'll heal up a little bit along the way. We'll bring them back home. Uh, that should only take 0 0.4 of a day. Perfect. They'll be home before nightfall, which is good, because I don't trust you. And rare thrombos have shown up. Excellent. Uh, where are you guys? Well, that means we've got more thrombo fur coats coming up. In fact, I might make a thrombo fur lab coat for Pichette. Thrombo fur lab coat on a vampire. Perfect. She'll love it. Yeah. Pseudonym is still working away at their crafting skill. They are just about to hit level 2, actually. And um, we're going to have an awful lot of terrible human level hats. And I don't think we can keep chopping people up anymore. Also, it turns out we don't like selling slaves according to our religion. Which, yeah, it's fair enough. My bad. Shouldn't have done that. Right, we'll have to stick a little bit closer to our religion for now. The baby is very annoyed with what we've been up to. Uh, let's see. We butchered human-like by four. Uh, observed corpse by three. No philosopher. We need to get ourselves a preacher very soon. Uh, slept in the cold and disturbed sleep by three. Very sorry about all of that, but uh, we'll take care of it. Why is there a donkey in the middle of the room? 
Uh, you know what? Don't trust you. Get up and clean that place for, for now. Actually, what's your animal skill? One. We, we could try taming it. Why not? Kind of tame animal sleeping. Actually, no, no, no. We can't afford it. I would like to have an animal to do use as a hauler, but well, it's just not possible. We don't have the the crop space to keep them alive. Actually, humans would make good haulers. Thrombo self tamed. What the? Randy's trying to drive up my wealth. That's what Randy's doing. I cannot afford to keep this. Oh God, no. No, no. No, 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 I refuse. I, I refuse. Oh, great, a death pall. Uh, yeah, the dead will rise, bury, burn, bury, destroy, or move corpses indoors to prevent them from resurrecting. Well, yeah, there's only one left. I'm pretty sure all the rest are gone. And what I do now is I chop up the meat and then feed it to the trees. I chop, well, I was doing that. We might have to modify our religion to allow that. In fact, considering what this calling has been getting up to so far, I think our religion's going to get... Ooh, yeah, I should really do those fair things. Yeah, our, our religion's going to get a little bit more permissive of this, especially considering, you know, the kid's probably going to be traumatized by this unless we do something about it. As much as I would love to keep this thrombo around, it is just not viable. Uh, thrombo's got to go, I'm afraid. Uh, is anyone actually set up to do hunting? Pseudonym is. Well, okay, once they've finished feeding the prisoners, that's fine. In fact, just, uh... Oh, wait, never mind. It's handling. Handling is what I should have been looking at. Never mind. And poof. And you, would you, uh... Haul that into storage if you wouldn't mind? We're also going to need to install this telescope. Wonderful thing about telescopes is you just... You can install them indoors so long as you're willing to take the roof off. There we go. We'll take off a chunk of roof there and then we can install the telescope. Well, great. Now a sheep has joined us. Well, you'll look good in the fridge too. But first, I need to take this entire team, including dumb shit, and we need to go and take out this trumbo. Real quick, in fact, we'll go this direction. The thing is, it's worth too much meat and too much valuable hide. Uh, and I think we can do this in the field now. Wait a minute, don't trust me? Ugh, do I want to give them a gun? Fine, we'll give them a gun. Don't make me regret this. I shouldn't have let them near the baby with that. That was sloppy of me. Well, it's fine. We now have four of us. Okay. Now, all of you, I would like you to attack. Oh, Pichette does not have a gun with her. Yep, that's right. Um, I never re-equipped her with a gun after she turned into a vampire. Well, yes, that's a thing. Cool, everyone get in there. For shit, I'm gonna need you to go back and grab a gun real quick. In fact, yeah, there's nothing she can really do. She can coagulate if anyone gets too injured, but I think we're good. Yeah, everything's down to 3 point, no, 2.9 movement speed. We could effectively run away now if we absolutely have to, but I think we're golden. Perfect. Uh... Okay, don't trust me. I am going to send you back in here and immediately get you to drop that gun. Yeah, I, it's just, I don't trust them. Uh, I don't know if I've made that clear already, but yeah, they're not being allowed to carry a gun around unless there's actual combat going on. I figured out what to equip to don't trust me with. EMP grenades. Absolutely perfect. That way, if they do turn against us, their most damaging contribution will be a flashy light show. Absolutely excellent. All right, uh, I think next up we want to go down here and take out this defoliator ship. And then once the defoliator ship is gone, I want to go and take out that outpost. And then I want to do some more trading at the Finger District. Ah, things are actually turning out okay. And research-wise, microelectronics are about almost halfway done. And we've almost got ghoul infusion up and running. Yeah, having Don't Trust Me along with that uh, occultist thing seems to be working out quite good. There's a few things I need to do. Uh, one, we need to get rid of one of these prisoners. I don't want both of them. Feeding both is pointless. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Bloodlust Delicate. Why keep them? Uh, they're just going to be more of a pain than they're worth, and any of their breaks are going to be violent. Keep the Optimist. Less likely to end up having a mood break means I less likely for that I'm going to have to beat them down. So this prisoner, they can be released. Um, well, we could 
you know, harvest them for organs, do all sorts of evil stuff, but that'll make the kid unhappy, and we don't want to be doing that. The kid's already got, like, a bunch of problems. Uh, as well as that, we want to get Smirk and turn them into our priests. So first, we want to get rid of a bit of wealth. The Death Pole has resurrected Tony. What? Uh... Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, Smirk's busy at the moment. Let's go this direction, everyone. Come on, come on, come on, drop him off. Yep, that's good. Join us back here. Yes, I know one of you has EMP grenades. That's fine. We're kind of okay with that. I thought we had Tony put away in storage. Pretty tough. I mean, didn't do much damage. Uh, shut off right leg, needs tending. Wait. Is he still alive? Oh, we could capture him. What's he worth? One bio fur ice. Uh, knowledge gained from study, one basic. Currently, these guys are worth... 1.7. <sighs> You know what? I don't want a third per I don't want a third. It's just it's too much effort. Can we hold that guy? Turns out we just had to shoot him a bunch more. Once we shot him a bunch more, he died. Uh, yeah, we'll stick his body over here. This time we're going to close the door so his body can't get back up again. All right, everyone back to work. I think it's time we took this guy out of storage. I'd kind of forgotten about him. Uh, we need to release him and send him back to the Empire. Uh, yeah, we still have that Empire place we gotta go to to get the Silent Neuroformers, but I'm not gonna be too worried about that. It is what it is. A few things we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna grab Hemogen packs out of deer while we've got the chance. Uh, we're going to be using them continuously for that. Uh, Dukas... Oh, Pseudum tried to convert Smirk to religion. Smirk cert certainly is falling to 98%. Seems to resent the conversion attempt. I wonder why. Yeah, and Dukas here, the moment that anesthetic wears off enough that he can walk. Uh, they're moving at 10%. Yeah, that's a problem. Well, they're missing the legs. Uh, we'll let them heal up a bit, and then we're going to kick them out of here. If we had some drugs that we could pop them up on to get them out the door, that'd be better, but we don't, unfortunately. Dukas is now up and running. Perfect. Prisoner, get out of here. Oh, I forgot they had that option. Hemogen farm. An operation to extract hemogen packs will automatically queue on this prisoner whenever it can be done without killing them. The operation will be carried out by a doctor. That... That is super handy. Whether or not Dukas makes it off the map alive is another question. They probably should. And if they do, the Empire will like us a little bit more. At least for now. Alright, just about everyone should be up and running shortly. Pichette is looking... Hmm. We should probably get her a blood bag soon. Actually, no. If a raid shows up, she can feast on that. Uh, for now, we need to do one more thing, and that is take care of this junk down here. Then we can do all the religious stuff I've been meaning to do for what feels like an eternity. The plan here is very simple. The most dangerous thing here is this scorcher. This starts setting people on fire, things go downhill right quick. So we're going to put dump shit up front to tank. If they get set on fire, that sucks, but uh, we're going to try and not let that happen. Over here, we've got two legionnaires. They can generate shields, which will be a problem. However, we did bring Don't Trust Me, who's got some EMP grenades. So, one second. Now I've set these guy to just once you throw that grenade. I should... Wow. I can't believe all three of them missed. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Who are you shooting at? Dumb shit. That is, yes. That's enough of that. They've already adapted, so there's no point actually shooting at those. I can't believe they haven't killed him yet. Okay, you know what? You can go there. And you two can shoot that guy. Oh! I think I know what's going on here. Uh, the reason they're having such a hard time hitting him is there's a death pall going on. Accuracy is through the floor. Shooter weapon weather, 80%. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cover. The guy's got cover because he's behind this metal slag chunk. All of that combined is just making him not really that good at this. Oh, wow. EMP came back up. One second.
Done. All, right, all of you down here, please. Actually, we can put you all right there. We want to make sure you don't shoot dumb shit in the back. Ah, uh, problem solved. Oof. And then we just break apart this junk. And that's what advanced component, one regular component, 60 steel, and some plasteel. I will take the lot. Ghoul infusion has finished. Perform a surgery that infuses a living person with an architect shard, transforming them into a terrifying ghoul. Ghouls are strong me melee combatants, but are incapable of doing work. Ghouls will go mad if they are not fed enough raw meat. Yes. Okay, ghoul enhancements. Also good. I think next up has to be ghoul enhancements. Ghoul enhancements, serum synthesis, uh, and then ghoul resurrection. Just to make sure we can keep our ghouls around for as long as possible. Uh, electro harvesters sound like fun, but mm, no. And I still haven't even got around to harvesting the bioferret from this guy. I need to grab, where is it? Smirk? Yep. We need you to do something for us. We would like you to begin a role change. Since one person has to go, we'll make sure it's Prichette. I mean, she was there from the beginning, so were you. Might as well. So, you get to become the philosopher. Basically, the priest guy. Perfect. That means we can start the conversion on our other people. Uh, don't trust me, might wait a while. I think we hired them on the... What date did we hire them on? We hired them on the 3rd. So, once it hits the 13th... Actually, no. Once it hits the 3rd of next month, then I'll trust them. Until then, I'm just going to assume they've got a plot to backstab us somehow. So until then, it's EMP grenades for you, and we're not going to give you anything too crazy. Also, did Sudanum get their... Nope, they did not get their flak vest. Don't trust me, got the flak vest? Oh, hells no. Buddy, drop that. Successful rule change, and Sudanum, I am going to need you to forswear that flak vest the moment you get a chance, buddy. Much better. Before everyone goes to sleep again, well, some of them are already asleep, we're going to do a quick ceremony. It's an uh, industrial fair. Basically, they go out and throw some balloons in the air. This should hopefully give us some uh, religious points so that we can upgrade our religion to something a little bit more fitting what we've been getting up to. This does cost us wood. Yeah, I should see if there's any more cactuses out here we can harvest. Ooh, never mind. There's definitely more we can harvest out here. A group of travelers are passing by. You got any good gear in you? Well, they do have a body modder with great crafting, but I don't think I want to go to war with another crowd just for one body modder. Ooh, teetotaler. No, quick sleeping body modder would actually be quite nice. Ah, it's just the teetotaler thing that really gets me. Never mind. And there goes the nice little balloons. Perfect. Is it done? Did, don't trust me try to convert Sudanum. Don't be doing that. Shit, and Sudanum here exchange thoughts about religion. Yeah. Beautiful industrial fair. That gave us one religious point. We need ten of them to do a modification. That's fine. Uh, yep, that's done. Dark Scholar. I'm going to leave that there until that person betrays me or doesn't. Well, there's a quest available. Ma Mafran's many friends. I've looked at this one and it's uh, a no. Basically, they profane someone's ritual, like to someone's rituals. And if we accept them, uh, a whole bunch of angry people will show up right behind them. I think we're good. I think we are fine. We have no need to be picking any fights just yet, especially while I'm still waiting for what happens with Don't Trust Me to go down. Now, at the same time, we have managed to drop some of our wealth by getting rid of that prisoner. We still have one prisoner which we're using as a uh, blood farm, but that's fine, I think. We kind of need that to keep the vampire going. We've got three well-equipped people. They've got flak vests. They've got guns. They're good to go. And I think we'll do a... And we've planted all our potatoes, finally. So all our potatoes are planted, which is great because we were sort of running short there. I'm going to need a lot more spuds, aren't I? We'll begin another party here. Yeah, 75% chance. There's already an ancient complex to explore. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. In fact, we might go explore an ancient complex. It might be worthwhile. I'm doing this more to get the religious points. Okay, unforgettable. Excellent, that's an extra two points. And friendly visitors. Your Sky Lanterns have attracted some friendly travelers. The travelers are amazed by the spectacle you created and hope they'll get to participate next time. Huh. Now this is one of the reasons I picked this, is it's one of the things that seems to be a bonus you can get. Travelers can show up. Three reinforced, three reinforced barrels, a sniper rifle. Oh, I always do like a good sniper. It's occasionally useful. Hmm. We might actually buy that sniper rifle off the guy. Assuming he'll buy some of our tail caps. 
If he would buy some of our tail caps, that would be very good for us. He bought our tail caps. He bought all the tail caps. Well, he, we bought the sniper rifle off him. An excellent sniper rifle, I might add, and it cost us all our tail caps and some money. That was not cheap. Uh, actually, I should make sure that sniper can be stored here. Well, put that into storage when we get a chance. We also have some guns down here that I need to pick up. Uh... Yeah, I'm kind of missing that pick up and haul monitor, the pick up and haul, the one that allows us to specify which things should be picked up in a hurry. Ah, uh, they'll get around to it. Oh, and I realized why that guy came back to the life. Gary or whatever his name was. Barry? Gary? Larry? Whoever this guy was in here. I think I moved his body over there to get to, get, get rid of. But, um, yeah, there was no roof over this. I had not put a roof on it because I thought, why did we need one? That allowed the fog to get in and the fog converted him. My bad. I just noticed that Pseudonym here is reading a book. They're reading the uh, Survival and Advanced Lighting. Uh, this thing actually generates research. So if we go under the main section here and we look at two things. One is Noble Apparel. It's getting researched by them reading the book. And Advanced Lights are getting researched by them reading the book. Meaning we don't have to research these. They just get researched by someone reading the book. Which they do for funsies. Which is perfect. It's like a way of turning fun into more productivity for your colony. These guys left us a gift. A bunch of tox grenades. That's, um... Nice, I suppose? I I've never really found a use for them. Oh, well, we'll check them in storage. We can either sell them or come up with some sort of killbox design that uses utilizes them. There's another little thing we would like to get around to this morning. Uh, Schmirk, would you begin a conversion ritual? Yeah, pseudonym here... I'm not going to try the don't trust him yet, because don't trust him might just end up either trying to kill us or we'll end up killing them or, you know, th there's no point. So we'll try suiting him here. Odds on this are not amazing. Basically, we need a masterful ritual. We've got an 18% chance of converting them. Otherwise, we're just going to, like, we're barely going to scratch them. The problem is, their belief is just so strong. It, it's almost impossible to break them. So only a masterful conversion ritual will break them, which means we got to do this once every three days, and it'll probably take us... 20 days of this to eventually break them? Well, that should be the longest it should ever take. We might break them before then. Come on. Come on. Smirk's pretty good at this, right? Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I mean, I was kind of expecting this to take a lot longer, but, uh, cool. And we got two development points out of that. Are we at five? Yep, we're at five points already. That is, um... That seems a little bit anticlimactic. I was kind of expecting that to be a lot harder. Perfect. So, um... In that case, paste meals it is for you too, buddy. I, I love that it's you've converted to our religion. Your reward is you get to eat paste meals. That's like, wait, what? <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, slate tile, slate tile, limestone tile. I should probably start finishing this out. In fact... Finishing this one off would be the easiest one to do. That should take no time at all. And how much slate we got? 206 blocks? Yeah, we can throw this sucker in. Well, an animal migration of ostriches. Uh, we're getting a lot of these. Do we need the meat is the question. In fact, I'm pretty sure there was some donkeys around here somewhere. Yeah, there's a couple of donkeys. I'd almost tame them, but unfortunately it's too much effort to keep them around the place. And is that... Can dandelions just grow on sand? Those dandelions are growing on sand, but we cannot do that because we can't put a grow zone on sand. But dandelions can grow on sand, which is sort of strange, unless that's a bug. I'm not seeing it anywhere else. Not, not going to worry about it. Uh, free meat is free meat. So, you guys. Oh. Oh. I'm going to need dumb shit over here because I made a dumb mistake. Uh, shit, I'm gonna need you to start punching that one. Yeah, there you go. Then start punching that one. Ooh. I figure she's a vampire, so she's got better heating skills. How you doing? Ouch. Well, you didn't lose the arm. You know, that's good. That was my bad. I uh, messed that up. I freely admit it. Okay, there's one ostrich left over there. Dumb shit. Go uh, melee attack that ostrich. We'll be right behind you. I'm, I'm actually going to use some decent medicine on this. These are pretty nasty, as in the amount of damage done, it's going to take a while to heal up. Especially with that arm. That thing's almost came off. Those ostriches are vicious, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this out here. But uh, a few points we should really get around to. One, I want to go and hit up this ancient complex. Namely because we have nothing else to do. Well, okay. We've got this over here. 
but I want to leave that a little bit and I'll go after the Fallen Empire and see if we can get our relationships up with the Fallen Empire a little bit before we go in there. If we can get it above neutral, we might be able to just walk in there and grab the stuff without causing a fight. It'll just save us because we are going to want to level up Smirk with the Empire. They're already a yeoman and we'd like to get them up uh, two or three more levels, about three more levels. And once they're three levels up, we then use the two silent Neuroformers we nab from here to get them up to level six. So that way they can max out their level but only be level four with the Empire. That way we don't have to feed them too much nice stuff. Uh, though even then, they're still going to have uh, a lot of claims they're going to want to make, so we're going to have to give them a throne room, a nice bedroom. They won't be going around anymore. They will not be campaigning around the map. That will probably be up to Pseudonym here. And Pseudonym here is probably going to become our mechanator. Or maybe not. If we're good to have someone going around the map, we can't have our mechanator running off. So Pichette's going to be the vampire. Smek will, Smirk will be the royal sidecaster. And then we'll have Pseudonym here being the mechanator. Don't trust me? We'll see. We'll see about you, buddy. I think I'm going to name you after a patron, though, just start the next episode, just so that if you do betray me, it'll, you know, be more personalized. At least then, you know, I'll feel better about it somehow. Maybe. Mm, whatever. All right. I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Good luck.